Hi guys, it's Haley. Um, thank you so much for stopping back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Um, today I'm going to be doing the clean slate book tag. I was tagged by Danielle at the Intish Reader. I will link her down below. Um, yeah, so um, I just want to say, first of all, thank you all so much for all the comments on my um, bookie book. I can, why can I never say it? it's not that difficult? Um, bookish newbie tag, booktube newbie tag. Um, thank you so much for all your love and support, um, your comments and, um, your subscribes and all the stuff that you've done. Um, it's just been really sweet, um, and fun to, like, meet new people and to, like, talk about books and stuff. So thank you so much for, um, commenting. It means a lot. So I'm just gonna get on into the Clean Slate book tag. The first question is, what genres would you like to read more or less of? I think I would like to read more memoirs. I don't get into them quite as often, but when I read them, I really enjoy them. So I think I'd like to read more of that. Um, yeah, so I think that's my... More memoirs are like true stories. Um, I really enjoy those kinds of stories, so... Um, the next question is, any books that changed your thoughts and beliefs? So I have, like, a couple books for this topic, um, and they're, like, not exactly changed my thoughts and beliefs, but, like, made me think of things in a different way, and I guess maybe just, like, cemented my faith and such. Um, so the first book that I'm going to talk about is A Thousand Gifts. One Thousand Gifts? Ten Thousand Gifts. Oh, shoot. I'll link it down below. It's, I have the book, but I lent it out, so I don't have it right now. Otherwise, I would just show you right now what it is. By Anne Voskamp. Voskamp? Again, it will be down below. Um, and she talked about how she went through... Um, she had a lot of depression, and then she um, decided to live a life of thankfulness, and how that really impacted her life. Um, so it was just talking about things that she said she was thankful for, and it was very beautifully written, and, um, it just really made me think of, like, being thankful in a whole new way. Um, so in that, I feel like it did kind of change my thoughts and that I, like, decided to be more of a thankful person because I believe that it makes you just, like, a more happy person, and you're just better off if you're thankful. So that was one book that really like helped me think of things in a new way. And then my other books that I wanted to talk about was Blue Like Jazz by Donald Miller. This book talks about he grew up in a Baptist church and then he goes off and he goes to a very liberal school in Oregon. I don't remember what school it was. But this book was just really interesting and really got made me think about um, just things. It really made me think. So I don't know if it necessarily changed anything for me, but it really got me to think. And it says on the tagline, non-religious thoughts of Christian spirituality. And I just thought it was a whole new way of like talking about the Christian faith and a way that was really interesting and open. And um, I just really, really enjoyed this book. Um, the next book that I want to talk about is Into the Wild by John Krakener. Chris, this is the story of Chris McCandless. He went to Alaska and that eventually he died um and that's a very like abrupt <laughs> story but like the story follows him and how he got to Alaska and to his he died very young um and this is a true story um I watched the movie first and then I wanted to read the book and this book just totally made me think about you know our time here on earth and what we should be doing and um, just really good. Like, it's, like, I feel like this book changed me. And my mom read it, too, and she was like, uh, I don't know why. It was just some kid that died very young and tragically. But to me, it made an impact on me. Um, and so I wanted to mention this book. Question number three. Who, who would you recommend for a newbie to watch on YouTube? I'm just gonna suggest my favorites at the moment, and I will try to link them all below again. Um, uh, one person that I'm really loving and I watch his videos every Tuesday <laughs> is Ains Insane Reader. He, like, cracks me up. Um, he's hilarious and he's just doing his own thing and it's so enjoyable to watch. So Insane Reader, really good. Um, I just got into Mackenzie Lane. Um, I'm really enjoying her stuff as well. And, um, Books and Lala. Books and Lala is also one. 
that um, I'm really enjoying. Um, I just really like her. She's really cool. Um, and then Witty Novels is another one that I really enjoy. So those are just my favorite at the moment. It changes, but um, right now those are the ones that I just have to watch when they post a video. Um, excuse my cat's tail. It's just it's gonna it's gonna be a thing. Okay. Um, next question. Do you have a reading book bucket list? Bucket list. Um, I, so this year I did sort of like more specific reading goals. So I'm trying to be more specific about my goals and, um, making goals that will help me meet my other goals if that makes any sense whatsoever. So I'm trying to get like my read books that I own bigger than my unread books that I own. And I don't know if that's going to be ever attainable, but I'm trying to, like, get a higher number of books that I read. So, like, here on this shelf is mostly all books that I've read, with the exception of, like, the two squares down here. Um, and then I have, like, a, one of these bookshelves and an, over there, and some more bookshelf over there that's all filled with books that I have not read, um... So, we're kind of outweighing here, like, books read, tons of books I haven't read. So, all that to say is, like, some of my goals this year um, were to read at least one of the series of unfortunate events, because I have not read them and I own a lot of them. Read the second book in the Percy Jackson series, because I've only read the first one and I own the complete set. To read at least one Nancy Drew and one Hardy Boys, because I own a bunch of those and have not touched them. And what else? Um, to read the first book, The Chronicles of Narnia series by C.S. Lewis. I've read Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe before, but I have not read any other, so I want to like go back and start all the way, all the way over, because I think when I read Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, I was like in third grade. Um, so, <clears throat> I want to read one of those. Um, I think that's it. So, like, a lot of my, like, I guess my bucket list would be that. To read, like, at least one book in a lot of the books. To kind of, like, make a dent in the books that I haven't read. And kind of get me to read books that I've kind of been avoiding or putting off for, you know, any type of reason. Not anything particular. There's just usually books less daunting that I'm going to read. But, um, so yeah. So, I'd say that's my bucket list. The next question is, what about booktube surprised you? Um, I just think I've been surprised about, like, how many, like, options there are for books and, like, how many people are out there, like, sharing their books and, um, being creative and, um, that there's this whole world of, like, people sharing books and that there's a lot of people out there that are, have similar interests as me. Um, I think that that's really cool and really, um, exciting, so, yeah. Um... The next question is, what are some of your goals? And so, that kind of goes back to the other question, but um, my goal this year was to read um, 50, 55 books, or 50 books. Um, last year, I started a goal of 12 books, because I wanted to read at least a book a month. I ended up reading, like, 30-something books, which was the best reading year I've ever had. And so then this year I was like, if I read 30 books last year, I could totally read 50 books this year. Um, that's not how it's been going this year. Like, last year I started off my year super strong, and like in the month of January I read like four books. And this year, in the month of January, I read one or two. I think it was one. Um, I think for three months so far I've read three books. Um... And I'm hoping in March I'm going to, like, catch up a little bit. So my goal is to read, like, is is to read, like, 50 books this year. If I get it, woohoo. If not, it's not a big deal. I'm not trying to, like, pressure myself into reading. Um, I, I'm trying to be more in, um, purposeful with my reading. So, like, reading when I have free time instead of, like, being on Facebook and stuff like that. And so, yeah, and then the other goal is just to read more specific books. But the next question is, if you can meet anybody anyone dead or alive who would it be so this this question got me cracking up kind of bit kind of a bit because Danielle at the interest reader her books her pre people were all like um literary 
legends, if you will. Like, her, a lot of her people that she learned to meet, I was like, oh, yeah. That's, like, really cool. My list is not as profound or, um, and I haven't even, I have only have two right now that I could think of. Um, there's probably more. Um, but, so, and then when I asked my sister this, she was like, because I was like, what, who would you meet dead or alive? And she was like, um, she listed off, like, a bunch of people from Teen Wolf. I think she listed off, she's 13, um, just making that clear. She listed off a bunch of people from Teen Wolf, and then, um, I think one of the doctors from Doctor Who, and then she was like, and Abraham Lincoln. I think that might be cool. And I was like, yeah, just throw an Abraham Lincoln there, you know. Um, but all that to say, um, my two, the top two that I thought of, like, straight off my head, top of my head, was Busy Phillips, who I follow on Instagram, and I love her. Like, I just absolutely love her. And she's getting ready, she's writing a book right now, so it's kind of related to BookTube, you know. I just really, really like to meet her. I just love her so much. Um, if you don't know who Busy Phillips is, she's an actress, um, most well known for, I know her from Dawson's Creek. She played Joey's roommate named Aubrey. She was also in White Chicks. Um, she was also in a show called Cougar Town. Um, but I mostly just know her from Instagram stories because her Instagram stories are, like, really entertaining. Um, but anyway, so Busy Phillips is one and Amelia Earhart is number two. Growing up, I was homeschooled, so, um... We did a lot of, like, reports and stuff on who we wanted to research, and Amelia Earhart was one person that I researched, and I read a lot about her, and I just, I was, have always been so fascinated with her. Um, she's so cool. Like, and so I'd always like to, I would like to meet her, and I would like to find out, like, what happened to her. You know, we don't really know if she just probably crashed her plane somewhere, but I would just like to know where what happened to her, but I would like to meet her and talk to her, because I just think she's, like, an incredible person of history. The next question is, would you rather have your favorite author write you into a book, or your favorite actor portray you in a movie? And my first response to this was, favorite actor portray me in a movie, but then I don't think that I could watch myself, or someone portray me on screen. I think that would make me feel too weird. So I'm going to go with, um, have my favorite author write me in a book, because I just feel like that would be more fun for me, and I would actually be able to read it. So, what are some challenges that you still face, um, still have to overcome with your channel? Um, I'm not really sure. I think just finding time to film and being comfortable with myself for the camera, like I said in my other video, but. What advice would you give st to someone who is thinking about deleting their channel? I'd say don't do it, um, unless it's, like, negatively, like, and I think... Daniel, the interest reader, said this too, that if it's, like, affecting your psyche or, like, your mental state, definitely quit. Like, this isn't worth it. It's just supposed to be a hobby. Just take into consideration that it's supposed to be a hobby, you know? Like, it's supposed to be fun. So if it's not making you happy, then you shouldn't be doing it. And if it's not making you happy, maybe you should just figure out a way to make it make you happy. Um, and you should just figure out a way to, um... Yeah, like, bring excitement to your life again, or whatever you started doing BookTube or YouTube for. Um, just get back to that original. Um, just find your truth. Like, find find where you started out for and work from there. Um, but if it doesn't bring you joy, I'm all about, at this point in my life, um, if it doesn't give me joy, just letting it go. Like... In Gilmore Girls, A Year in the Life, Emily was like, it doesn't bring me joy, so I'm just gonna let it go. Um, yeah, so there's a Gilmore Girls reference for you. Um, but yeah, so that's what my thing would be. If it doesn't give you joy, be okay with letting it go. But if it also, if it doesn't give you joy, maybe think about a way in which you can make it give you joy again. If that makes sense. But that's just my two cents. Um, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I appreciate all the love and support again. I'm so excited to meet and talk to you guys more about the books that I like and talk about the books that you like. And yeah, so um, thanks. Um, I hope to be back with another video soon.